I can guarantee that nobody wants to be called a noob. And honestly, everybody in this video, I'm going to be talking about some mistakes to avoid so you will never be called a noob again. Okay, before we jump into the mistakes to avoid as a noob, guys, I just want to say I am an experienced gamer of RuneScape. As you guys can see here, I have played for a long period of time and my account is almost 20 years old. So I think I am eligible on talking about this subject. With that being said, everybody, let's go ahead and dive in to the mistakes to avoid as being called a noob because guys let's face it nobody wants to be called a noob okay let's just say that much anyways coming in at number five all right people coming in at number five for the most mistakes to avoid as a noob is actually questing in early game i don't know why people don't like questing i know runescape has a lot of things to do in the game but honestly everybody why are you even playing runescape if you don't like questing so yes everybody coming in at number five has got to be questing in early game and a few things i could recommend though guys is just knocking out all the free to play quests in a day or two and they will actually be able to help your account out and will get you some early in-game levels and if you guys do decide to be a member right off the bat you can also do quests like waterfall quest and the grand tree as these quests will give your guys attack and strength way up there and save you guys time on your early game grind but with that being said everybody that is my number five spot Okay, coming in at number four has got to be Rune Light. One of the biggest things people get called being a noob is for not using Rune Light. I don't know why anybody else would play RuneScape without using the Rune Light client, and it's even approved by Jaggeds. And like 90 to 80 percent of the player base who are actually are legit use rune light because guys it just helps so much and one thing i want to mention while you guys are doing your questing as i mentioned already rune light has an optimal setting so if you guys want to like figure out what kind of quest you need to do next then rune light is definitely something you should be looking into and it also will help you with questing and so much more than just so much better to use rune light and it's even approved by jaggeds and honestly everybody that's probably one of the biggest reasons why people get called noobs here they are just even on the rune regular runescape client and even mobile has better <laughs> options than the regular runescape client guys i'm just being honest with you so yes everybody that is number four on the list all right coming in at number three a lot of noobs actually make this mistake guys and honestly everybody this is actually a pretty big one i feel like a lot of people are too worried about making money in early game and even if you end up making money from like selling cow hives or so on and so forth i feel like a lot of people are actually just going to end up blowing off their money and end up spending it and kind of wasting it because honestly everybody early game does go up pretty fast if you constantly play and you don't really necessarily need to make money that soon and that's what people really have a hard time understanding is that you don't really need a whole lot of money in early game because you're just going to end up uh, outgrowing it eventually because the point of RuneScape is to get level 99s and honestly everybody I feel like that's one of the biggest mistakes noobs make and that's why you generally get called a noob because you're too worried about making money instead of like grinding on your combat and your questing and so on and so forth so there you have it folks coming in at number three and definitely money making coming in at number four everybody we have training methods i feel like a lot of people get caught up in this and get called a noobs because everybody wants to try to do the best method and i know there are a lot of guides out there but a lot of people get caught up in training methods because there are a lot of different ways to train your skills and that's one thing i really do love about runescape is the diversity it has and i honestly understand that people want to do the best way but honestly everybody you're going to get called a noob if you try the best 
efficiency way of doing things. Honestly, everybody does do like something like between money making and between grindy because honestly, everybody, this is going to be a long game to grind and honestly, just spend a few minutes researching what you want to do because I feel like that's a big thing that people go do is just research what kind of training method they want to do because guys, there are so many guys out there and guys with this game being so old there are just countless amount of information out there and honestly everybody don't be afraid to look up training methods guys i do it you guys can also check out some of my other guys i have on my channel as well just a little bit of a plug but anyways everybody coming in at number two is training methods the number one thing people get called for being a noob guys i'm sure you guys already know what this is about to be but yes everybody i am talking about falling for scams in runescape you think that people will, will be smart enough to actually not fall for it but honestly there's actually quite a bit of people that actually fall for scams and honestly everybody one thing to avoid is definitely not trade people at all period because now we have the grand exchange where you can do everything with your trading in there so i don't know how people still get scammed and also watch out for lures a lot of noobs make this mistake while they're going to the welding with somebody that they don't know and they're thinking they're gonna get some money or something like that and they just end up getting pk'd and losing even more of their stuff and this is highly frowned upon but anyways everybody i hope you guys enjoyed my list of my top five mistakes to avoid as being called a noob and hopefully you guys for those of you who are actually new to runescape hopefully this video does help you as well if you guys enjoyed my video please subscribe as it does help me support the channel with that being all said and done everybody just remember guys don't get scammed in runescape because everybody will call you a noob and that's one thing that you came here to not get called and that's probably the best way to avoid being called a noob but anyways everybody once again my name is grim and as always everybody i'll catch you guys in the next video